What is up, guys? How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing good. I just got off work, and I got a package in the mail that I'm so excited about that I just got to share it with y'all. And it's going to be a little bit different video today. You know, I love to fish. I love my, my reptiles, my amphibians, my inverts, you know, spiders, scorpions, and whatnot. Well, I got some inverts in the mail today. Thank goodness. I was so excited all day at work. And uh, I'm going to show y'all what they are, talk a little bit about them, try to feed them, see if we can get some to take food from the tweezers, and uh, show y'all their setup. So stay tuned and let me show you what is up, guys. All right, guys, so the first scorpion I'm going to show y'all today, yeah, he's very aware of us. And this is an Israeli golden scorpion. And I think that's a Scorpio Maris or something like that. And this guy right here is not very venomous at all. They are also known as a fat clawed, a golden fat clawed scorpion. And they like relatively dry climates. They range all the way from North Africa to the Middle East. And I've even heard of these guys popping up somewhere in Turkey towards the European areas. <clears throat> super cool scorpion to have and i've been wanting one of these for a very long time this guy is probably about an inch and a half he's a he's a he's not full grown yet but he is a beauty and we're gonna we're gonna get a better look at him here in just a second so this guy right here is very defensive he's jumping at my voice and stuff really cool little dude we're gonna just take this lid right off have a go at him his enclosure is set up with sand and some really dried out river rock that we had. And since they do range in some forest areas, even though they typically live dry, he has some husk over there, or some, uh, my bad, peat moss that is stacked up so he can burrow behind those rocks. We're going to see if we can, you know, encourage this guy to scoot on up out of this enclosure to his new home. Come here, you... I would try to pick you up, but I have a feeling that you would probably sting me like you already want to. Alright, buddy, let's get you into a new home. This way. Whoa, no, no, just come on. Look at that. That is super cool, guys. Look at him. Don't fight back. I just want you to. Go into the enclosure. I'm gonna turn these around so I don't get the pokey ends at them. Woo! There we go. What do you think about that? Huh, buddy? we we'll get some good pictures of them and whatnot real quick so you guys can see how actually beautiful this creature is. Unless he goes and hides on me like that. Well, I think that's all for him. He's done, went up under that rock, and I'm, he's had a long ride here. I'm not going to disturb him. I'm going to let him be. We're going to get on to the next. And the next one. All right, so this next guy is the Arabian fat tail scorpion. Now this guy, he packs a punch. He is cyto, no, 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 no. He is neuro, cardio, and I think cyto toxic. And uh, these guys range from North Africa all the way into the Middle East. They are, they love very dry climates. And they're very aggressive as well. And we're gonna get him into his new home, hopefully. He'll, uh, he'll come out on himself. Already got the lid opened here. Get that out the way. 
All right, buddy, here's home. This guy's probably about a solid two inches. He is just gorgeous. Let's see. Get you a little sideways. There you go. Now, I've heard these guys can throw venom from their stinger, so I'm wearing glasses, and I'm stood back a little. He is entering his own home by himself. I'm going to pull this container out. He is in his new home. He's got a couple hides right there. Let's see if he wants to eat before he goes and hides real quick. Well, I didn't get to get it on camera. He was way too quick, guys. I dropped that cricket in there, and he was on it like, like there was no tomorrow. He grabbed a hold of that thing and stung it so hard. Let's see if he'll do another. I bet he'll take two. He's probably pretty hungry. This guy has to be shaking. I wish I could have caught that on camera. And I will get one on camera for you guys. But this dude stung that with so much aggression. He just let go of it. To go hide. Alright. Well, there's him. We got one more to show you guys. I think this one's my favorite so far. This is the enclosure set up for the last guy. You notice it is really tropical. Most people think scorpions. They like dry, rocky. Well, this guy right here loves leaf litter and he loves wet and he's also from australia and this guy right here is the dwarf wood scorpion reaching maybe two inches in size as an adult this guy is maybe an inch if that which is a little a little small for his enclosure his enclosure is relatively big but he gets to live in a mansion these guys like i said are found from australia they are not very venomous at all really cool looking dude when he arrived he was lethargic but i guess that was just due to the cold arkansas weather He's doing much better now, and we're going to get him into his home, which I think we'll just be able to scoop him on out. You think he'll sting me, guys? Boop. I don't think so. And there he is, guys. Look at that little dude. Let me get my camera to focus. There we go. We'll put him right whoop, there. I think he's all right, guys. <laughs> he fell over. Let's uh, give him a little flip over. Oh, yep. Yeah, there you go. Wake up. Oh, geez. I'm butchering my own scorpion. Flip over. There we go. He's going to hide under that crouton leaf right there. Before you do, I want to say hi. See if we can get this guy to eat a cricket. And I'll get right back to you with that. Maybe we'll catch him get getting it. Alright, let's see if he wants a cricket. I think he wants it. Oh, he's got, he had a hold of it. Come on, grab a hold of it again, buddy. I think he just needs time to relax. Maybe a smaller cricket will do. One more thing we got today is this giant, beautiful chocolate millipede. Uh, I do not know much of the facts about it. I'm sorry. I should have did my research a little more. I uh, did my research on their care, just not where quite they are from. Uh, if anybody feels free to enlighten me, please do. I'll probably enlighten myself shortly after. But he's chowing down on a carrot. I got him out when we first got here, and he was chewing on my fingers so i figured he was hungry and thirsty so wetted him up a little substrate we're gonna get him moved into an enclosure soon i appreciate you guys tuning in and seeing these really cool critters that i got to that i'm fortunate enough to own and 
they're just, oh, they got my heart already. I love them. Thinking of names. If you got any names, let me know. But uh, if you like, if you like what you saw, let me know if you liked it. I'd love to do more of these. Oh, I love my inverts. I love reptiles and amphibians. And uh, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe to the channel. Please and thank you. I like to do a little bit of everything, and I will keep doing a little bit of everything. Unless y'all just want one thing, let me know. Uh, take it easy, guys. There's an alligator with some arms. Oh, yeah.